Hey everybody, welcome back to another riveting episode of Now That's What I Call Beer. This episode marks the beginning of season two. A new year means new beer. And this season's theme is local beer. So join me and my homies as we take you through a small, exquisite tour of the Metro's finest beers. Let's get frothy. The first guest is Jeff. Come on, come on up, Jeff. Come on down. What's up, guys? You know what I brought for you? What did you bring, Jeff? I brought something from Five One Five Brewing. It is the uh, OJ IPA. You ready for this pour? All right. So one one of the things about this beer, James. Educate me. Is that it's it's a well balanced IPA. It's not extremely bitter like most IPAs. This one is a uh, it's got thirty four IBU and it only that's pretty low well for an IPA. For an IPA, it really is. It's very citrusy. I like that. It it, it is a citrusy, mm. hence the OJ with the low IBUs and a pretty standard. ABV. We're looking at this one as almost being a session beer, so let's uh, let's session. Let's, on let's it. test it. <sighs> that is. See what I'm saying? Crisp and refreshing. Absolutely, it goes down smooth. It's not harsh. You you still get what even with the low IBUs, you still get that. IPA taste. This beer would be perfect for somebody that isn't really into IPAs and kind of wants to try them. It'd be a perfect introductory beer for that. Um, not only is this one of their, my favorite beers from them, they've got a handful of beers that are just phenomenal. So if you're a beer connoisseur and you really want to sit down and have like a good solid beer, hit 515 up. Not only is their tap room amazing, but they've just got tons of beers. Go down to your local 515 brewery and have an OJ IPA. OJ IPA all day. Because mm -hmm. I could literally drink like three or four of these, no problem. Jeff, thanks for coming on. Not a problem, man. Let's uh, finish See if these we can brews do these here. Things. Yeah. Dude, ready? Beer breakdown. Well, <laughs> this <laughs> beer breakdown. <laughs> this beer breakdown, yeah. I, I think I'm in the same boat with that. I, I pretty much get one or two of these and then bam, you know, test out all the other ones. Thanks for having me on, James. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Guys, cheers. I'm out of here. Cheers. Like, comment, subscribe in the comment section below. Do as Jeff says. He's your dad now. Peace! And for our second beer, we have uh, the fashionable, the insatiable, the very bold, Robbie Clark. Thank you, James. I think you're fashionable, insatiable, and very bold as well. Thank you. <sighs> what, what did you, what did, what, uh, what, what did you bring today? All right, so today I brought my favorite IPA from Des Moines. It is the Des Moines IPA. Oh, more from IPAs, huh? Convoy, I know. So, Good stuff. Uh, yeah, that's probably pretty telling that people's favorite beer here are IPAs. Cheers, James. Mm. Cheers. No, it's yep. it's citrusy, pretty hoppy. Not the hoppiest IPA you have out there, but it is really good. How old is Confluence? They they opened, they started brewing in 2012. I don't know when they opened up their tap room. Oh snap! All right, so four years. So it's been it's been a while. They've been they've been there for a while. Tap rooms probably medium to small size. Not a huge tap room. It's mostly I think. For bikers who, who bike past it. That's that's a big thing with Iowa breweries in general is that a lot of them are on bike trails because we have a pretty strong biking community that's really tied into the beer community as well, especially within these last five years. Thanks for joining me, Robbie. Thanks for bringing this delicious mm. beer and that fantastic information. Yeah, love it. Absolutely. It All right. I'm Cheers not going to chug this. Uh, you probably should or else you're a terrible host. <sighs> nope. 
Whoa! Hey, welcome back, Jeff. Whoa! Yeah, dude, I'm just here. I appeared. <laughs> Guys, welcome to the end of the episode. I'm glad you sat through it. Oh, wait a minute. This isn't the end of the episode. We have one more beer we left. Have one more beer. It's kind of a almost a novelty beer. I would say, I guess you could say novelty. I would say a delicious beer. This is this is my pick. This is part of Exiles. Oh, what is it? Yeah, Bohemian Fruit Review. They've been doing these. I. I don't know when the first one was, but I can tell you I got in on this game during the Blackberry, <laughs> Blackberry, Blood Orange Bohemian, which came out over the summer, I believe. This is one of the best that they've had. Uh, granted, I'm a little biased because I think the Blood Orange is hands down the best that I've had of the Bohemian Fruit Review. I drank a <laughs> lot of it. I drank a lot of it. <laughs> And I'm going to drink a lot of this. And I say, let's drink some of it now. Let's do it. Dang. The fruit, tart, taste. The definitely tart is definitely a word that I would describe this beer now, as. I, I, I think I've had a sip of this earlier. Um, I'm not sure what I think about it yet. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get down on it real quick. I'm and this is what Exile is doing, and other brewers as well. I believe Robbie said, "Yeah, how is that?" It, I gets you. Yeah, it's it's a <laughs> it's it's a Not different gonna lie. It's a different style wow. of beer that I think Americans don't have a lot of experience with. It it was a good choice to bring on. We were we were trying to find some of our favorites. You know, not obviously not awe favorite because yeah. you can't just have awe favorite beer. And these are one of our favorites that we want to bring out to you guys, where you know what's going on. Yeah. Like, what are the good ones around? Mm -hmm. And you pick this one out yeah. of all the yeah. all the Iowa beers. And it's not just the Blackberry Bohemian that I'm picking. It's it's also the Bohemian series in general. In and, general, yeah, and also Exile's whole take on the sour beer, which I think Exile just excels at. It's fantastic. So let's let's continue to talk about Exile. When did they come out? The uh, August twenty twelve, I believe. So really close to Confluence. So I think that's Confluence why Confluence they're... and Exile both came out in twenty twelve. Like when you think of Iowa craft beer, you either go to Exile or Confluence. Here's what here's a recommendation, guys. Try all these beers, and also all these breweries. Connect to them on social media. Go to their tap rooms. Drink local. And if you find a beer that is particularly tasty, a brewery whose style you really like, let us know. Yeah, put it in the comments section below. That's what we need, guys. We need your guys' comments. What can we do better to make this channel better? We're here for you. So thanks for coming out, guys. Make sure you like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Now that's what I fucking call beer. <laughs> Stay frothy. <laughs>